So I'm going to go over the new features with a new user interface and design. So first off, you'll notice this sign-in screen is updated. Everything's more beautiful and prettier. So I'm going to go ahead and tap sign in. And you notice everything is a lot faster. That's because we're on .NET 6, which is the latest, greatest architecture. And it also gives us some new tools to play with. So development will be faster and more stable. So there's just a lot of positive improvements. So one thing you'll notice is for, there's no more launderer. So your attendants may never ever have to change roles again, because if they're the attendant, all the different menu items are right here. And so the laundry list, it is now just called laundry. And you also notice we got rid of the bin list. So that's a real positive. We just streamlined a lot of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and tap customer to create a new order since I'm sure that's what you want to see. And then you simply type in the customer's name that you want to look up. This is a universal field. So it's first name, last name, and business name. And I'm going to create a new order for Bob. So we'll tap new order. And you'll notice this screen is nicely upgraded from what it used to be. So laundry only, dry cleaning, or laundry and dry cleaning. And yes, the customer is dropping off the order in person. We reorganized everything. So you'll notice that we no longer display all the stuff about Bob on the screen. We already know it's Bob. We don't have to display his whole profile. So there's a lot less scrolling going on. We fit more stuff on the screen. And now all of the wash and fold preferences are in one spot. Before this was part of the customer profile, this was in the middle, and the different options were at the very bottom. So now everything dealing with the customization of the order or the laundry preferences are now all in one spot. And now we're going to go ahead and do pay now with cash. So we'll go ahead and add a service such as wash and fold. And now you tap the pounds, it's 25 pounds, and we hit close and then you hit next. So it's just much more streamlined. And now the payment option is just so much cleaner. Before we showed all the different payment options all on one screen. Well, we already chose cash. And so now it just shows us cash. This is the main part of the screen right here. But if the customer says, oh, I don't have $42, let me switch a credit card. We make it really easy to switch a credit card. Or let's go back to cash. It comes out to $42. I'm gonna go ahead and do 50 bucks. And we could apply the change to gratuity or simply hit pay. So I'll go ahead and apply it to gratuity and then hit pay. And another nice improvement is the receipt and tickets are now displaying ready. So you could just tap receipt, tap ticket, and then it'll print the ticket or print the receipt. So it's less clicking. You don't have to hit a drop down menu to say whether you want to print a receipt or a ticket. So one of our goals is not only to make everything easier and less screens, but also minimize the number of clicks. And once you're done, you just tap done. Another new improvement is you could go ahead and tap straight to wash. That way, you'd, if you don't want to put the order on a shelf, you could just tap straight to wash and boom, it'll take you to the laundry screen. So if we scroll down to the bottom, that's the Bob Simmons order that we we're working on. And you could go ahead and tap laundering and off to the races. We made things easy and simple for attendants to place wash and fold orders. And if you'd like to see a demo of the pickup and delivery side of things, go to curbsidelaundries.com and tap the demo link.